so with the VIX, so, you know, we, we talked about how so much of the algorithm and the machine trading has a lot to do with volatility. So it's a little bit of a reflexive kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, but we haven't, until we make lower lows on stocks and until the VIX kind of breaks back out, and starts making higher highs, I don't think you get a real shift in that. In other words, the machines are gonna keep being a more aggressive to buying until that stops working. So where does it stop working? We're gonna identify lower lows on the Dow or the whatever, whatever US indice. But that's gonna come in the form of, right, pullbacks, we pull back to a higher low, we bounce. Pull back to a higher low, we bounce. Pull back to a higher low. So we gotta start making lower lows in a series of those, and then that's gonna turn up with a series of higher highs on the VIX. So what I'm just measuring and mapping then is, is the VIX futures. Where does that change? And I kind of want to use the four hour for the intermediate term. It's a little bit more clear. So we've got, you know, here's all this series of lower highs that the market's been bought up. And then, so that's our TMS now, 17 and a half. And I think that changes a lot changes a lot of the structure in the market and I think it's going to change a lot with the algos if you can break above there. If I zoom in a little bit further, notice pi is descending, right? So each time we've kind of been trading contrarian via VIX calls or we've bought some futures well, we've taken pretty good on these pops. Here I still have here I still had the core VIX features on. I had to take that off, play defense. Got back in much lower, so that was the right move. We took well into the into here again, right into pi, in front of pi. Bought the low, pretty much the dead ass low here uh, on the VIX before the front month rolled. And so now you can notice. This is a higher low relative to here. So it's an inverse head and shoulders, but your neckline, neckline tends to be horizontal. This is just a descending, descending neckline. I call it kind of a mutated head and shoulders. But then you can see 17 and a half is pretty key. So that, uh, we'll see if that lines up with maybe a break of like the end of last week's lows or below pi. It could just be, a, it could just be like a break of the bands here and a and a big drop into pi, something like that. We'll see. I mean, the way I want to play it is um, when the VIX opens up, I want to sell some. If the VIX opens up this morning, which I'm pretty sure it will, the index, I'm going to reshort some calls. So, my arm's cramping up. Couldn't handle my workout this morning, I guess. Thirsty or something. VIX uh, is 1479, but that'll open up higher as VIX futures are up. It's got it at 16, maybe. I don't know. It's not that this is hard to gauge, but anyway, on the strength on the VIX, what I want to kind of do is you can either take profit on calls that we bought and or when we rally, then short the downside calls against the long calls. And then that way, if we get another pullback, 
those calls will start to go in your favor. You can kind of clip those or maybe sometimes there's 500,000 bucks and 2,000 bucks in those little moves. But don't forget, you can always, if you're playing long calls or like a call spread, when you get that pop, you can, that's a good time to short more of the downside calls. You're still going to make money if you rally, right? But if you come back down, and you can you can trim up those short calls as those move in your favor. That kind of makes sense. Uh, Santi, keys, keys range on the VIX? Okay, Chris. Me on the upside? Downside. Yeah, well, you know, he he wouldn't say it's a break, right? Below 15, he's saying like that's, even if you go lower than 15, all the better, right? But yeah, I mean, we're, I can't believe we're in a 14 handle. I couldn't, I said the same thing when we were at 16, but 14 handle. I mean, we haven't, we're almost back to levels where if I get rid of these arrows, almost back to levels. before the market broke down. Like this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That was October, but before we broke down, August, September, 12, 13, September, we were at 15. August, we were at 16 on the up. Like it was, we were trading from 10 to 16 range. I mean, it's stupid low, how low the volatility is here. This weekly cycle is still definitely coming up now. I don't know. Probably should have bought some calls yesterday. Oh, we wasn't open yesterday. That was Friday, right? Everything was sleepy on Friday. That would have been a good move up at 16. 